positive if it, the Amiga has somehow found its way back into Arlington's water system. Either A, that thing is evolving into something else at this point, something more dangerous, or the only other conclusion I can come to is someone dropped the ball. That's the father of this little boy who died two years ago after contracting a brain-eating amoeba at a local splash pad, less than 24 hours after finding out the very same organism could be back. I'm Doug Dunbar. Nicole's off today. Welcome to this edition on Thursday. We first brought you the story as breaking news last night, but we know a lot more today. City of Arlington closed all of their splash pads and pools because of a potential brain-eating amoeba detected at a water park. It is the very same type that led to the death of that three-year-old, Bakari Williams, a couple of years ago after he had visited a different city splash pad in Arlington. His father today expressing his disappointment that all of this may be back. Disappointment is really an understatement, right? Because I feel like we, we, we implemented these, these changes in this system to prevent this sort of thing from happening, right? And I, honestly, I, you know, for lack of a better term, I feel like the, uh, the city pretty much has dropped the ball. We have a lot more questions today about the reappearance of this amoeba and who wouldn't. Olivia Leach working to get you some answers and what you can do to make sure you keep your family safe if you go out to enjoy the water this weekend. All splash pads and pools in the city of Arlington remain closed today. After the city got word this week that a rare brain eating amoeba may have been detected in a water sample at the California Lane Park splash pad. I would much rather ensure our community safety than have a little bit of fun splashing around. The brain eating amoeba is called Naglari Fowleri. So it is rare, but it is almost 100% fatal. Dr. David Sidorovsky is a scientist who studies this deadly amoeba at the University of North Texas Health Science Center at Fort Worth. He says this hot summer is a prime environment for this amoeba. I'm not surprised. Uh, we've had a very hot summer and it's very common for warm water to breed Naglaria falleri. It's not just the act of drinking or having the water near your mouth. It has to actually go in through the nasal cavity. And so um, oftentimes uh, people will say, uh, plug your nose when you're jumping into the Brazos or you know, jumping into a, a warm Texan uh, a lake or, or river. Arlington says no one has reported getting sick from this amoeba. After the death of Bakari Williams in 2021, Arlington spent nearly $650,000 to improve the safety of the city's splash pads and pools, including keeping chlorine levels nearly three times as high as the minimum state requirement, and automated water chemistry controllers that shut off when water readings are not in the acceptable ranges, and water testing three times a day. The system worked, helped us identify a potential hazard. We reached out to the city of Fort Worth, who says they do not test for these organisms in their pools and splash pad, but that chemicals are tested and monitored every two hours at the Marine Park pool. They also use chemical controllers and sand filters and a UV system to disinfect their facilities. The city of Dallas says their splash pads are continuously monitored 24 hours a day, and the water is treated with UV. Once a week, every spray ground is also drained and cleaned and refilled. In Arlington, Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas.